Yeah, I'm going to go over how to make um, encapsulated vitamin C uh, with non-GMO, GMO, lecithin granules, and vitamin C crystal powder. It's liposomal vitamin C, otherwise known as, and I'm going to use a blender, an ultrasonic cleaner, a measuring cup. Basically, it has a lid on. It's very easy to use because you can shake it up. And a tablespoon. You're going to be using level tablespoon. So, um, I don't sell for Swanson, but I like getting it from Swanson because it's non-GMO. They've been selling a while and all that type of stuff. Now, um, there's claims out there that encapsulated liposomal vitamin C is actually stronger than IV vitamin C, but I don't want to be saying stuff like that because I don't want to get people misled on expectations because I've heard a lot of controversy, the people that push this stuff, it, I think it's better than oral vitamin C. So if you're taking gummies, <laughs> if you're going to take encapsulated vitamin C versus regular vitamin C tablets, eh, I think you're better off with the encapsulated, but as far as it being as strong or much stronger than IV, I know it's been said, it's been touted to be that, but I really have doubts on that deal, but anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to make it, it's very cheap to do, it's very easy to do. You're going to be using distilled water, so basically I have a distilled water container here. So what you're going to do is first put four ounces of distilled water in this container and then add one level teaspoon, a tablespoon of vitamin C powder, let it dissolve that's one level ta tablespoon, which is 15 milliliters, in four ounces. I use distilled water. It's better to use in distilled water versus, or pure water, the best water you can get. And let that dissolve. And then I take another container, and um, which is the same type of deal as this. And I will go ahead and put the lecithin in there with eight ounces of, what do you call it, of water with three level tablespoons of leth lethicin. Th the lethicin mixture then goes in the blender for one minute at high speed. At high speed. Okay, so I put um, one level tablespoon and four ounces of water, distilled water. Next, I have eight ounces of distilled water I'm gonna put three level tablespoons of non-GMO lethicin in a one cup of water so and that's going into the blender at high speed first that goes in the blender at high speed the vitamin C does not go in the blender it goes well, I'll show you what it does after okay so this is in the uh, blender the lethicin solution turn it on high speed for one minute okay the next thing is to take this has been blended for a good minute actually so it goes into the ultrasonic cleaner and since this thing is this is pretty good this thing because I could shake it up and really you see uh, there's nothing on a, no crystals in here that everything's dissolved so this just to shake it some more to make sure this goes into the ultrasonic cleaner and what we do is we turn this on for eight minutes and you might have to reset your timer I think this has like a two minute timer and you can move it around this is a little plastic thing that's in here so I'm just touching the top of it stir it around a little bit for eight minutes and then you're done then you're done then this goes in the refrigerator so it lasts a lot longer and you can get bigger ultrasonic cleaners in this but supposedly this will really um, be a lot stronger than a typical oral vitamin C that you take so the solution is let's let me just tell you the, the method again it's best to use distilled water or pure water, or some real high quality water. You want to start with that. You want to have non-GMO lethicin crystals. You want to have vitamin C powder, right? The blender is preferred. You definitely want to have, you really would want to have a blender anyway for other things. And the ultrasonic cleaner is definitely a needed, a needed item. So 
what you do is you take um, four ounces of water you put one level tablespoon of which is 15 milliliters of vitamin C powder in the water you let that it's best to have it really stir it around it's better to use warm water or room temperature water not cold water so it dissolves better um, do that first because you want to dissolve this very well and it's good to use this kind of container with a lid so you can shake it up don't need to put this in a blender or anything like that but you want to have it dissolved the one thing you need the blender for is you want to use eight ounces of you know pure water distilled water with three level tablespoons of lecithin non-gmo put it in the blender for one minute after that's done that goes in the ultrasonic cleaner then the vitamin C, C solution goes in the ultrasonic cleaner eight minutes stir it up once in a while after you're done you have encapsulated vitamin C and you can put it in refrigerators you should put it in a refrigerator so it lasts a lot longer otherwise it only lasts two or three days in the refrigerator I'm not sure how long it'll last but you don't want to make so much that you're going to keep it around for weeks on end or something but it should last quite a long time so I make you know a little bit at a time that'll last me several days what do you say about that Rocky you like the vitamin C? You like the vitamin C? Does that sound like a good job or what? You got all the vitamin C you want in your body as it is because you're a cat. And you make your own vitamin C, but people have to encapsulate their vitamin C to make sure they get enough, right? Is that how that works? Okay, buddy. See you later. Thanks for saying hi, anyway.